Welcome to Royal News Updates. OMG. Princess Anne finally breaks silence on Prince Harry to strip royal title. Before we start, please, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, thanks. Princess Anne might just be the most well-liked member of the royal family after her mother Queen Elizabeth. At this point we all know that Princess Anne is the hardest working royal in the game, and she has dedicated her life to championing good causes. As the patron of over 200 charitable organizations, Princess Anne spends the majority of her time working with these causes tirelessly. Famously, Anne's credo is keep me busy. I'm here to work. I'm here to do good things. I'm here to meet as many people as possible. A recent Vanity Fair interview conducted in April of this revealed that, if not for her royal title, Princess Anne may have taken a completely different career path. According to royal correspondent Katie Nichol, had Princess Anne not been a royal, she would have been interested in taking up work as an engineer. Not many would associate Anne with that line of work, but according to Nichol she said the practicalities of how things work, I think, was always interesting as far as I was concerned. Born in 1950, it is fair to say that during Anne's childhood women were not encouraged to go into the science and engineering fields, so she has spent her adulthood championing women in these industries. Princess Anne is the patron of Opportunity International UK, an organization dedicated to helping young entrepreneurs all over the world. Speaking on women in the field of engineering, and said I certainly enjoyed being part of trying to encourage more girls to look at engineering as a realistic career. Apart from that Princess and loves sports very much. Recently, the Princess Royal, 71, donned a navy blue double-breasted tartan suit, teamed up with a roll neck jumper and sensible black polished shoes. She had her traditional updo hairstyle matched with a neutral makeup look with a hint of pink lipstick. The Princess Royal is patron of Scottish rugby and arrived at the Millennium Stadium for the game on Saturday to support her team and meet with CEO SIU Mark Dodson and Chairman SIU Mr John Jeffries. Scotland played Wales and unfortunately and was left disappointed as her team lost with 17 points compared to Wales with 20. The last time the team was able to defeat Wales at their home stadium in Cardiff was 2002. Despite the defeat, the Princess Royal seemed to be delighted with the event as she was pictured beaming while she chatted to rugby executives. Though the Royal is a regular to the Scots rugby games, and was never intending to attend the Six Nations match as she was expected to fly to Beijing for the Winter Olympics. The president of the British Olympic Association and member of the International Olympic Committee was unable to go due to Covid travel restrictions and human rights issues in China. The former Olympian who lives at Gatcombe Park in Gloucestershire was the first royal to represent Great Britain in the Olympics when she competed in the three-day equestrian in 1976 at the Montreal Games. A statement released by Buckingham Palace said that Anne was disappointed that she could not attend the Games. Amid ongoing disputes over human rights violations in China, Boris Johnson announced in December that the UK would effectively join a diplomatic boycott of the Games in Beijing by refusing to send officials to China. Last month Her Royal Highness met with the International Olympic Committee to discuss her role at the Games. Princess Anne was named the hardest working royal followed closely by her older brother Prince Charles. Prior to the game on the weekend, Anne met with members of the Welsh Rugby Charitable Trust. Prince Charles has been forced to halt his royal work after he tested positive for Covid for the second time after being struck down with the virus in March 2020. The news came days after he had visited the Queen and Buckingham Palace have refused to reveal if the Queen has subsequently tested positive or negative which has fueled rumours about the monarch's health. Palace sources insisted Her Majesty was not presenting with any symptoms of the virus though these tend to emerge a few days after contact with a positive person. 
Both the Queen and Prince Charles have received three vaccinations to offer them protection against severe symptoms of COVID. The Duchess of Cornwall has been taking regular tests alongside her husband, and had a negative test on Thursday. Given her vaccination status and that of the Queen, if they both continue to test negative they will not have to isolate. Also in the recent turns of events, Princess Anne had grave concerns about Meghan Markle too, according to claims by royal writer Lady Colin Campbell. The former I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here star, who is a royal biographer, aired her thoughts on the royal saga in a 38-minute video published on YouTube. In the video she alleges that the Princess Royal believed the Duchess of Sussex to be unsuitable, Birmingham Live reports. Lady C claimed, Princess Anne was the champion in terms of don't marry that girl, she is unsuitable. She is wrong for us, she is wrong for the country, she is wrong for the job. Well, it's turned out to be true. Lady C also alleged that Anne, the Queen's second child and only daughter, thought Meghan was flagrantly attention seeking. Thanks for watching, please share your thoughts in the comment. Thanks. Subscribe to our channel.